Well, we have uh, one featured guest today, and, and that's Andy Windham. Uh, Andy's uh, Special Forces, he's in Vietnam. Uh, he's been, had a number of different careers in his life, and Andy's going to come and talk to us about National Defense Act. Yes, okay. Andy Windham. Let's give Andy a round of applause. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. As uh, Steve has introduced me, and most people know me, I am Andy Wyndham. I'm an old-time activist in the Patriot Movement. I've been in the business over 45 years, and I say business because I work at it all the time, okay? If I am not out to uh, hand out flyers, talk about the National Defense Authorization, I'm, out, I'm at a gun show. Now, I usually at a gun show three uh, week, weekends out of the month, so I, I, I have I think I'm a professional, okay? <laughs> I would like to, uh, this, after, uh, this morning, speak on the uh, National Defense Authorization Act. And this is very important. I realize that most of uh, you gentlemen are aware of what uh, of this is, but I want to go back through and tell you exactly, make, bring everybody up to par, okay? The National Defense uh, Authorization Act was actually signed on the 31st of December. Think about that, the 31st of December. 2011, okay? It was, uh, it had 919 pages, okay? And for the most part, it dealt with the uh, cost of the Afghanistan and the uh, Iraqi war, okay? Sandwiched in between this 919 um, uh, pages was the two things we're concerned of mostly, okay? The section uh, 1021 and 1022. And 1022 said that, um, that uh, the president, uh, uh, can, can uh, upon the orders of a president, okay, one could be arrested by the military without a warrant, number one, held indefinitely, number two, and, with, uh, uh, and without a trial, number four, in an unknown prison. Now, my friend, that's treason. Any way you cut it, okay? This is un, this is un-American, okay? Uh, Excuse me, is that the terrorist or is that just for Americans and all Americans? All of us. Well, let me, let me uh, finish if I may, okay? You'll see how, you'll see how deceptive this is really is. As a matter of fact, all unconstitutional uh, programs throughout our country, okay, or in our country, okay, have to be uh, brought to us in a deceptive manner, okay? And this certainly was, okay? Um, let me say that, uh, Oh, uh, Glenn and I was at a breakfast, uh, Saturday, with Lindsey Graham. And we went out and made a circuit, talking to everybody, patting everybody on the back, okay? Um, he finally got around to us, okay? Glenn uh, asked him about the National Defense Authorization Act, okay? And he proudly said that he wrote this section, okay, 1021. He proudly, okay? Um, um, Trying to get a word in edgewise, okay, and uh, tell him about, and he didn't, he didn't miss a bit, bit uh, a beat, okay. He mm -hmm. just, uh, matter of fact, I, I said, uh, Mr. Lindsay, are you aware that, uh, Mr. Graham, are you aware that uh, there's opposition to this? Didn't he didn't even miss a bit, beat. He says, but not, uh, not. I uh, think he said, not if I can help it. This is, this is sad, okay. Uh, two months ago, at a Republican Party, and I'm very active in the Republican Party there in Aiken, uh, Joe Wilson spoke. Uh, one, again, he was the last speaker, okay? No questions was asked about him, okay? Uh, during the question, after the, uh, the talk was over, I approached him, okay? And uh, I said, uh, when I approached him, he said, that this was a letter to the editor that I'm going to send it to, 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 to to the letters, okay? And I asked him the reason why he signed off, okay? Of the all, okay? And these are the quote words he said, okay? I was told that it did not pertain to the American people. Now let's think about that, okay? I was absolutely shocked, okay? I was told that it did not pertain to the American people. The fact of the, the, fact of the matter is, okay, he didn't read it. He didn't understand it. He didn't know what was in that, okay? He was told, okay? He accepted someone else's opinion. Two week, a week after that, we have also in Aiken County, you have an Aiken uh, Club. The Aiken Party of the Aiken Club. The Aiken Club caters to most of rhinos, okay? 
Joe once again is speaking, okay? But I'm ahead of the game this time, okay? I'm, I'm going to put a little letter, I'll put a little question to him, okay? That he will have to answer to all these people that he spoke to, okay? And the question that I asked him, okay, was that now that the state of Virginia rejected the end, uh, uh, National uh, Defense Authorization Act, or you proposed to say that you made a mistake. Now, I wrote this out. Everybody was aware of the secretary there, which was a guy, a, a councilman from the city of Aiken. They was aware of, uh, of the question, okay? The fact of the matter is, what, after everything was said and done, that question was not asked. When, uh, after the uh, speech was over and I went up to uh, the president, he said, Andy, I don't know what happened. Uh, I don't know what happened. I went up to the secretary and said, Andy, uh, I didn't understand the question. Yeah. Oh, my friend, I said, uh, I hope it up off the uh, floor about that much. I said, you didn't have to understand. The fact of the matter is that you did understand, okay? Your wife and her fellow Republican was at, at that table. When I walked away from that table, I asked you if you understood. And you said it did, okay? So I grabbed the the little flyer from the um, about the, uh, the state of Reje uh, Virginia rejected it. Okay. Oh, now I understand it. Oh God, I said you're a liar. You knew exactly what I said. Uh, uh, meant to say. Okay. Uh, that afternoon, Tony, the president, was on the telephone, calling me. Said Andy, I don't know what happened. I apologize to you, but we did give the question to uh, Joe Wilson, and he will follow up on it. He will get back from touching. Well, this is about two months later, okay? I'm still waiting for that call, okay? Fact of the matter, he's not going to call, okay? That's just the fact of the matter is, okay? Let me say this, okay? U.S. District Judge, let me read this for verbatim, okay? U.S. District Judge Katrina Forrest ruled that it was unconstitutional. Talk about the uh, DAA, okay? She said, these are the, her words, in the vagueness of Section 1021 does not allow the average citizen or even the government itself to understand this type of definiteness to which our citizens are entitled to and what conduct comes from within. So this is ruled by a U.S. District uh, a, a Judge, okay, this unconstitutional, okay? Um, I might add once again, <laughs> oh God. I wish I'd handed these things out. <laughs> Please hand this out. If you would. God. Show you how I showed you how I squared away on him. <laughs> State of Virginia, once again I'm gonna repeat, okay? The State of Virginia rejected hands down, okay? Said it was a section 1021 is unconstitutional. Okay. I've handed out, <laughs> maybe a little late, but I handed out just to say this is a flyer, okay, and it says uh, it is from the Tenth Amendment Center, okay, and it says South Carolina needs your help, okay. Now what this is about, okay, is the passage, okay, of Section 1184. And 1184 is in the Senate Finance Committee. These are the gentlemen in our state, okay, that the responsibility to, to um, bring this to, uh, to the Senate, okay, and pass it. Now, I've called every one of them. There's only one gentleman that rejected it out now, okay. The rest of them was in agreement, okay, that this needs to be uh, forward, okay. Uh, Mickey Sessler, which is my uh, senator, okay, he personally uh, emailed me and said that, um, to the fact that, uh, and it is a good idea. Unfortunately, it was a little late this session, okay, but we'll bring it up next Next section. Ladies and gentlemen, this is, a, this is something that can be won. It can be won down here on the local level, okay? We ought to do our very level to, to contact these people and those of us around us, okay, and contact them, okay, and spread this word. This is no more than treason as far as I'm concerned. Um, please uh, take that. Please uh, um, understand and comprehend what's going on. I wrote in my letter to the editor, okay, I said, let me encourage you to uh, call your state senator to sign on the bill S-1184, which nullifies the section of the NDAA, which authorized the in indefinitely detention. And I added, okay, please, I'm going to say that again, okay, please do not say anything, 
do not believe anything that I have said or, uh, or I have wrote. Now this is the letter to the editor. This is Jonathan. Please do not uh, believe anything that I have written or said unless you verify it yourself. In this case, a good site, and this is a very good site, okay? Go up on the Tenth Amendment Center, okay? And I might add, I asked the end of the letter, I said, and one last word to our military and law enforcement, president and, and veteran. We took the oath to defend the Constitution, not defend this corrupt leaders. Okay, any questions? Any questions for Andy? Do I understand this is saying that office employees are not allowed to defend our country? Say again. Is that what this is saying? Say again. That do I understand this that officers and uh, of state organizations are not allowed to defend our country? Is that what this is saying? I mean, that's what it reads. What, uh, what I am saying, okay, that we took an oath to so, defend the Constitution. So this says, to amend state law effectively notifying sections authorizing... Any yeah, to notify the Section 1021 of this National Defense Authorization Act. That's what this is about. The, 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 Keith, the National Defense Authorization Act, what it, what it allows the government to do is give the military the authority that just under sheer speculation, just because somebody may have a Ron Paul sticker on the back of their truck, or they may have been heard at a political rally where they were speaking out against the current government, that they can be arrested, put in jail, not given a lawyer, you do not have the right to a trial, and you can be hauled out of the country, taken to Guantanamo or anywhere throughout the world, and never heard from again. That's what's in that law, and, and, that, is, and, and that is what um, Andy is talking about what well, he uh, we got to get that law? part taken out, sir. Who authored the law? Lynn's Gray, uh, Gray put that one section 1021 in there. Okay, it was signed off just recently. Okay, Andy reminded me earlier. Okay, uh, that uh, I don't remember the vote. Okay, but every one of these representatives voted yeah. in. Yeah, they, they just voted here within the last two weeks on an amendment. See, the, the National Defense Authorization Act is a big act. It covers a yeah. lot of stuff, okay? But there was one, that one specific part is very bad. And so there was a vote in Congress to put an amendment that would do away with that one section that says that American citizens can be arrested without any warrant, without any provocation, uh, hauled off indefinitely, no lawyer, no trial, no nothing. They want to take that out. So the amendment was proposed. Every Republican congressman in South Carolina voted against that amendment. Except for Clyburn. Everyone. Clyburn, yeah, the, the Democrat. He voted, he, he's the only one I think that voted for it. To get rid of To take that part out of, out of it. What is So basically, what basically somebody can come in so here. Basically, basically one of you guys in here can be a mole, right? You can just be coming in here, you, re you represent the government, but we don't know about it. And they hear us in here talking about all this anti-stuff, now the government is, is trampled all over the Constitution, and then next thing you know, week after week, somebody's not here. And we're like, what, what happened to old Joe Smo? I ain't seen him in a while. And no, like nobody's seen him. Today. What we don't, what we don't <laughs> know is that old Joe Smo down in Honduras somewhere, sitting six feet in the ground in some bamboo cage, <laughs> you know, where he'd have been hauled off. Nobody knows where he's at. So That's what that amendment says. So basically, we're violating the Fifth and Sixth Amendments. Oh, absolutely. We're violating oh, the Fourth, absolutely. Fifth, Sixth, Seventh, and Eighth Amendment. And no doubt about it. Yeah, so why would Mr. Obama vote against something like that? Why? Because they were, they just like he just said, they, they, they were told to. They didn't read it. They didn't read it. Read the bill. They didn't read it. Well, and see, and here's, a, here's a reason why we don't read the amendments and the, and the bills. And this is the exact reason why we need the t more attorneys in, in, in uh, the White House, I mean, in, in, in Capitol Hill, at the State House, like, you know, a hole in our head. It's because the average person cannot read the bill. I was, I was talking with my representative the other day. He came by, he signed my petition for me, uh, Mr. Tr uh, Mr. Fry. And I was telling him, I said, you know, we need more attorneys up at the state house. I need a hole in our head. I said, because I sit down and I try to read these bills and I can't read them. I had, had to go buy a law's dictionary to try to under, try to figure out what they're trying to say. And he was in agreement with me. And I asked him, 
I said, when you're up there voting, making legislation, and you're reading these bills, I said, do they give you the, the legalese version and then give you the plain English newspaper version so you know what you're reading? He said, no, they don't. He said, if you're reading a bill and you don't understand what it says, you have to grab one of the lawyers in the area there, this uh, legislator, and ask them to explain it to you. Well, there needs to be a law that says that they need a clear system plain English. Well, this is why. This is why I asked you. <laughs> why would they want to write higher than that? Gentlemen, listen here. This is the reason why I asked you not to believe anything that I say or I say or, or write. Okay, you is your responsibility. Okay, to find out for yourself. Okay, the vagueness of these laws uh, are wrong, just like it, it, it says in legal is okay to deceive us intentionally. And this was absolutely intentional. Let me finish by saying this, okay? I've been in this thing for over 45 years, okay? And I'm supposed to be a professional as you pop it in, okay? I used to have the DVDs over here, okay? And the reason why, let me give you an example of why uh, these DVDs and this material that I uh, uh, have is so important, okay? I'm going to give you an example. Of course, it's been many years, and vaguely I probably forgot most of it. There was a communist, a young American communist, okay, that uh, that was in Mexico. He wrote a letter to his finance, the lady that he was about to uh, get married to, okay. He was telling her why, because he was sold out to be a communist in his this view, world view, okay, that he could not marry her, okay, because of her his dedication to his cause, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, you and I should be the same thing, okay? Let me encourage you to buy some of my DVDs, okay? Learn them and put them, put them in here, okay? So you can take that information and give it to those around us, okay? Well, I sit down. Any questions? Yes, sir. Have there been any uh, examples where this law was used? No, I'm saying, take that, please. This law that you that you're trying to strike down, has it been exercised anywhere? Not to my knowledge. But this, this, uh, you well, I thought judge. it was in the case of that guy who was arrested up in Chicago, Padilla. Well, I'm not aware of it. I'm not aware of it. Yeah, he was held down in Charleston. He, oh, yeah, yeah. That uh, was, is there any I'm other example? Something that I is there any other example besides that where, where the law was actually? Well, it's, it's a fairly new law. The law itself was just yeah. passed last, last fall. So it's, it's a fairly new law. Last December. December. Passed on, and then it could have been. It, it could have been. Down yeah, December 31st, 2011. Yeah. It's only been in effect, what, five months? Yeah. So there, there, could, there could be people that have been apprehended, we just don't know. We don't, we wouldn't know about it. Seems to me it's been, it's built as a vehicle for a much a larger type. Absolutely. Conspiracy than look down the road. two people. I, I, yeah, look down the road. And look down the road and see what this is laying the, the pavement for, okay? Not only the NDAA, all these executives are off the... Uh, executive bills have been passed. 450 million rounds of ammunition mm -hmm. bought by the, uh, the law enforcement. Okay, look down the road and see where this is carrying us. Okay, so all that. Thank you. They, Bill, they used it against that guy out in California that was complaining about the interest rate on his payday loan. <laughs> 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 <laughs>